feel like everyone needs to know about this. However, it's very tiny, as you can see. Having those reminders tangibly right in front of my face when I'm sitting on the floor and just praying to him is such such a cool thing. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Cayenne and I am a wife, mom of three kiddos, currently three and under, and I share lots of content around here on motherhood, homemaking, and simple living and intentional daily rhythms. I'd love for you to subscribe if you're new here and follow along. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about all things prayer as a busy mom of little kids. We all know that becoming a mom really shifts a lot in how we fit in our quiet time with the Lord, and it just doesn't look the same as it did previously. The Lord has really been growing and refining me in this area of prayer in the last few months, and I'm so excited to share a few of my regular rhythms that help me implement prayer throughout my day regularly in the calm, quiet moments, as well as the chaotic, overwhelming ones. I'm going to be sharing quite a bit on creating a prayer Bible and what exactly that is, how I created mine, and how I plan on on using it as well as a prayer closet tour rather a prayer corner tour since we live in a very small home of only 800 square feet and even a couple apps that I've been utilizing and have been incredible tools in my relationship with the Lord recently it's going to be a full video full of so much that the Lord is doing and igniting in so many women's hearts that I've seen just shared across social media lately just really igniting and lighting women up around the world with this passion for prayer and passion for the Lord and being the leaders in their home that I haven't seen in a long time so I'm super excited to get into it as we get into this video, this is honestly pretty similar to how most of my videos are as far as lots of homemaking footage and my kids running in and out in the background. And honestly, as I was planning out this video, I thought about starting the video off with footage from my quiet time or prayer time or something like that to fit the vibe of this video. And you'll see lots of footage shortly of me creating my prayer Bible and touring my prayer closet and all of that. But as I was thinking and praying about this video, I just felt like it would be really fitting to start off the beginning of this video with homemaking footage similar to the majority of my videos. My current reality in this season of life with three little kids, two toddlers, and a baby, and balancing work, homesteading, homemaking, and mom life means that although I very much prioritize my quiet time and alone time with the Lord, that is something that is so important and precious to me and a huge priority in my life. But in this season, especially in the category of prayer, I would say moments like this are actually where I am praying most consistently. I do have more structured prayer times where I set aside specific time to pray and focus on that, but I'm also praying regularly just throughout each day. As I'm folding laundry and washing dishes and bathing kids and making sourdough bread and discipling little hearts, I'm talking with Jesus and sharing my struggles, my exhaustion, my frustration, asking for his grace, his strength, his peace. In this current season, I find myself coming to him to just be filled up by his presence and given the strength for everything. Every day more than ever before. Having little kids, some of which don't sleep through the night, balancing all of their needs with a growing business that I love and I'm so passionate about, but it's also growing in the capacity to really put in the effort to build out some of these dreams that have been in my heart for a long time, which, you know, requires time. <laughs> balancing just a very full, beautiful life overall that requires a lot currently is bringing me to a place of surrendering each and every day to him like I truly never have before. Prayer is something that I have always desired to be strong in this category. I've always wanted to be a prayer warrior for my friends, for my family, for my people. I want to be a woman that values and prioritizes prayer and finds myself on my knees immediately when I hear of a need or a prayer request around me. But honestly, prayer is probably the area I have struggled in most in my walk as a Christian. I've always prayed in some capacity, but often I would find myself out of any sort of regular rhythm of prayer and just coming to the Lord with my requests when it felt urgent that they needed to be answered now or when I was at the end of myself and felt like I couldn't continue. I've had a hard time the majority of my life truly living out so many verses that talk about being constant in prayer. For so long, I honestly couldn't even imagine being constant in prayer and that I would have any desire to do that. And I can say that the Lord is really just changing my desires and my heart so much in the past few months specifically. And I still have so far to go and I know I will be learning in this area for the rest of my days, honestly. But one thing that really made a huge difference for me in this area, in addition to my little prayer corner that I'll share more about later in the video and give you an actual tour of what that looks like. but. Something that has really made a big difference in the past few months is just inviting the Lord into all of the mundane parts of my day. Not just showing up for my quiet time in the morning, checking that box and calling it good, but just starting to be intentional to pray throughout the day. Praying before my quiet time to really get my heart in the right place. Praying throughout my quiet time as the Lord just reveals things to me and the word that I want to pray through and ask for, you know, his guidance and his wisdom and discernment and things like that. Praying for needs as they arise, peace, patience, self-control are prayers that are voiced often lately in this season with littles. Any other moms relate to that? 
I feel like sometimes those prayers are just on repeat over and over and over again in our house. Um, praying with my kids as conversations come up or circumstances arise and taking the time to just take a minute to cover them in prayer and praying as I do regular everyday tasks. Part of this growth I really believe has come from choosing to be intentional to allow silence into my days. Something that I've really started prioritizing and the Lord has just really put on my heart in the past few months is not just filling all of my time with tasks that have to be done and noise. And what I mean by that is I am a very like efficiency minded, task minded person. So I make to-do lists to get everything done. I'm very focused on like productivity, getting through my list for the day. And even like aside from that, I feel like when I have moments of quiet, like if I'm just doing dishes and all the kids are asleep, you know, doesn't happen that often. But when it does, my natural inclination is to turn on a podcast and listen to that either to grow in the area of business or to just further myself in the aspect of like, community or relating to someone on a podcast, things like that. And you can learn so much through podcasts. I'm not, I'm not dissing on podcasts by any means, but I often just fill the background with noise of some sort or another. Even if I'm doing a business task that I can have something on in the background, I'll be playing a podcast or I'll be playing a Netflix show in the background, different things like that. So I always have just filled like really every gap with noise. And I feel like specifically the Lord has really been showing me recently that it's okay to have silence. And you know, I can take a shower without having to listen to a podcast. I can do the dishes without having to listen to a podcast. And I do still listen to podcasts, but I'm not filling every gap of time with that. And I've just been a lot more intentional to choose pockets of time throughout the day where I don't put anything on and I just sit and I pray and I talk with the Lord and I let the Lord just bring things to mind. I pray over those. It's been really, really cool to see how that changes my perspective and my mood for the day. It even changes how I parent and how I react to different like interruptions or things that my kids need, which aren't interruptions, but sometimes when you're so focused on your podcast or your show or whatever that you have playing in the background, sometimes it feels like an interruption when really it should just be your kids asking for a simple need that doesn't take any time. And you obviously wanna give them the best of yourself, but sometimes you can respond and not the best way. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but. Anyways, this is something that has really allowed me to get into more of a pattern of prayer is just allowing those gaps of time and allowing that silence to come into my days. Obviously, with a lot of little kids, I don't have tons of silence everywhere, but when I do have silence, just letting them be silent sometimes and not just filling every pocket of time with background noise. Okay, on to the next rhythm that is brand new to me but is making such a huge impact on my prayer life already. A prayer Bible. I honestly don't know if this is a new concept or if it's just gaining popularity currently, but I recently saw a YouTube video that went viral from a very sweet lady sharing her prayer Bible and her entire process around it. The basic idea of a prayer Bible is that you go out and buy a new Bible specifically to be utilized for prayer. Most people are buying compact Bibles so that they can be easily portable and thrown in a diaper bag or a purse and taken on the go with you so you have access anytime you need. I personally got a compact Bible but with large print, which actually ended up being perfect. I can link the specific Bible I have down in the description as well as the supplies I used, but I will say that the compact Bible with the large print definitely looks just like the normal print in my regular size Bible. So if I wouldn't have gotten the large print, it would have been tiny and super hard to read. Just a heads up. Anyways, back to the idea of a prayer Bible. So you buy a new Bible and you essentially go through the process of creating categories that you want to regularly pray on. There are different ways to do it, but you can think through some of the big ongoing prayers in your life, like for your spouse, your kids, family members, big dreams you have, salvation for certain people in your life, healing, etc. And you choose categories based off of that. Then you go through and use little index tabs to color code each category and highlight the verses so that when you want to pray for something like healing, for instance, you get out your prayer Bible, you can quickly flip through all the verses on healing very easily because it's color coded. You find that color, just flip through all of them and you literally just pray scripture over whoever you are praying for and it's super attainable, doable, and seriously just such a big tool for your prayer life in general. Most of this video was filmed during nap time, so Payson was the only one that was awake to accompany me throughout this video, so I was trying to keep her entertained and happy. She's pretty chill for the most part, but you know, she likes her little toys. She's crawling around everywhere, getting into everything, so giving her a few different toys in a little basket for her to stay occupied really helps when I need to get focus tasks done. 
to break down the process of creating a prayer bible a little more i'm going to take you through basically the whole process that i did but i also really want to shout out the original person that i saw their video her name is sisterita club i'm going to leave her in the description so you can go check her out very sweet lady she has tons of awesome videos but she has really in-depth like if you want a play-by-play -play type of tutorial that you can just look through and see everything you need she literally has so many videos on that so go check her channel out and she even has all of the verses for all of the categories posted on her community tab so that was a huge resource for me so that i wasn't having to find all of the verses myself i had a starting place and then i could build out from there she posts all of that over there she also has a facebook group that you can join which i joined and lots of people are sharing pictures of their prayer bibles and how they're using them and how they're color coding them and just different things like that which is really fun to see how other people are doing it but also really encouraging to just see so many women that are really just igniting this passion for prayer and utilizing this for their families for their friends for everyone around them like this is huge like prayer is so 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 powerful and to see a movement like this is so cool so i wanted to shout her out so that you could go check out her channel and like i said if you want to see any in-depth things she's been doing this for years and so she has a lot more but i'm going to walk you through the process that i did personally here also another thing that i want to mention really quick is that this does not have to be expensive like i First of all, if you have a Bible already sitting around, you may be able to just use your Bible. I didn't have any Bibles that weren't already marked up. Um, I've actually only really ever had two Bibles in my life. I had one that I've had literally since I was very, very young, and I kept that one until a few years ago when I finally got a new one. So I've really only had those two, so I didn't have any extras laying around that weren't marked up. So I wanted a new one to start from scratch with the color coding and all of that. But if you have a spare Bible that you really haven't marked up much, you could totally just use something that you have sitting around your house already. I paid like, I think mine was like $25 or something, so it wasn't anything crazy. And then the only thing that I bought in addition to my Bible were the color-coded tabs. So I got like 240 tabs from Amazon. They had like 12 different colors that came in a pack. It was like eight or $9. So I'll put that in the description so you have that link as well. But that's the only thing that I bought. I actually used washi tape and then I used some stickers that I just had sticking around that I'll show later in the video for some of the things. And then I already had some highlighters that I use in my Bible regularly that came from the Daily Grace. Co. They have some awesome supplies if you need anything like that. But yeah, totally just use what you have around. If you have even just stickers lying around, just regular old stickers, you could use that. You could use washi tape. You could use post-it notes. There are all sorts of creative things that you can use. And if you want some ideas, like I said, go join that Facebook group. And lots of people in there have not spent any money at all. So this is not something that has to be super expensive. You can absolutely just use what you have. The first step I would say is choosing your categories. So going through and picking the categories that you want to pray on regularly. So just a few that I have. She recommends over on the Sisterita Club that everyone has categories for healing, forgiveness, and salvation because you're probably going to be praying in those three areas either for yourself or for someone else. So having easy access to that is obviously really key. I also have some sections on wisdom. I have a section for attributes of God and identity in God. I have a section for my husband and then a friendship section as well. Um, I have a parenting section a provision section. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Walking with God. Those are some ideas of some things I have. And like I said, she has a lot listed out. So if you want to see in-depth things on that, you can go there. But really the first step is just picking out your categories. And then if they're categories that she already has listed, then you can go and find those verses and then just add some to it if you want to. That's kind of how I started. And I just went through and added like a few sections a day and I'm still gonna be building that out. So then as I see verses, I can just add them to categories or even start a new category if I want to, because I plan to use this for years to come and just continue like customizing it and building it out as I want to. So I didn't try and do everything at once. I just took like a few sections a day so it wasn't super over overwhelming and that worked really well for me and like I said the more in-depth tutorials are going to be over on the sisterita club that I mentioned but this is kind of a general overview so as you're going through and adding your tabs you're going to write on the side of each tab what the category is so if the category is healing or favor or whatever write that on there and then you're going to highlight over it whatever color that you are going to highlight the actual verse in so then you can go find the verse on the page 
that corresponds with the tab so that if you have multiple verses on one page you can easily see which verse goes with which and you're flipping through your Bible finding each of the sections super easily so it's just very convenient to go through and find what verse you need pray through that scripture and then move on to the next verse so um, I think making it user friendly is really key and this is a really big reason that it is so helpful in your prayer life and I think you're naturally going to memorize a lot of these scriptures as you're using it and getting familiar with your prayer Bible as well which I think is an incredible benefit Okay, I wanted to give you a quick look through my Bible from this angle as well so that you can kind of see. So I have all of these tabs here on the side that obviously are very full. I'm actually going to add some to the top as well. I plan to kind of add tabs as I go, different categories. There's a few categories I still need to finish up that I already know, but then as I think of new categories that I would like, I'll add those in. So mine is a pretty full one, honestly, which I personally, I like the look of that. Here, let me bring this a little bit closer I like the look of it um and I think it will still be pretty easy to navigate because I don't have too many um tabs that I can't like easily flip through and find the other sections but what I ended up doing is I only had these tabs that I ordered on Amazon this was the only thing I actually ordered I think it was like eight bucks or something like that I can link it below and it came with like hundreds of tabs total but there was only 12 different colors and I had more than 12 categories so what I ended up doing was taking washi tape and covering some of the tabs like this is just the regular tab that was that colored if you can see it is it focusing yeah there we go um or like this black and white one this was just one of the solid colored tabs but I ended up just adding washi tape over the top to make a different category color so then every tab that is black and white striped is a separate category and then every tab that um, I had a few floral stickers so I use those for a few every tab that has a floral sticker that's all one category every tab that has this kind of like floral design on it etc so um, it makes it really easy to flip through and definitely yeah it's made a big difference in my prayer life already even just this week alone and I am super excited about it so when you flip to a specific tab you can see that I have them color coordinated and like this one specifically is attributes of God. And so I only have one verse highlighted on this page. It is highlighted the corresponding color so that I can come straight to this verse and just pray this scripture out loud and pray through that very easily. There are some pages that have multiple highlighted. Let's see if I can find one. Yeah, like this one, for example, has two tabs. So I have one that is the spouse tab and then I have one that is identity of God. So the color that is this like teal color, like this uh, tab here, that is the one that goes with the identity of God. And then this one over here, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but I have it highlighted pink over it because this is a floral sticker is the tag. So it didn't really have like a specific color. And so I just highlighted over it to show what the color was. And then I highlighted the verse that goes with that pink so that I can easily see which verse goes with which and pray through whichever one I want to do for that circumstance. This has made like the biggest difference in my prayer life already. I found that I really love praying scripture, but then I would never have, oh, these pages are sticking together. Let me fix that real quick. Sorry, that was going to bother me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, I really loved praying scripture, and obviously I could just flip through my Bible and find different scriptures, but the idea of having different categories, if I have someone on my mind, I can sit down and specifically be like, okay, I have this friend that is sick or is struggling with, um, you know, this diagnosis or whatever I'm gonna look for my tab on healing I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna pray through every verse that I have in here highlighted on healing and you know I can pray for myself I can pray for my family members I can pray for so many different people that way and it just is very user friendly I am going to use this prayer Bible so much and I'm so excited about it and I feel like everyone needs to know about this okay so you might have to use a little bit of imagination in this space with me because this is not built out completely and i can dedicate a whole video on this at some point but i wanted to include this in here because this is another thing that has been a really big game changer in my prayer life in the past few months so i finally watched the war room which i'm sure tons of people have watched because it came out a long time ago but i had never watched it until a few months ago i'd heard of it for a long time i had heard of people making prayer rooms or prayer closets and i thought that sounded amazing and i really wanted to do it but i didn't think i had that ability because we don't even have a spare closet our house is 800 square feet so it's very small and we don't even have a spare closet that we could dedicate to like a prayer closet and so i just thought it wasn't an option and then i saw someone share a youtube video with their prayer closet and the way they shared 
it just opened up my eyes that I don't have to have an actual closet. They did, but I don't know, something clicked and I was like, oh, I could find another space that I could utilize this in. And so this is actually just a corner of our bedroom that is a dead space. It's not big enough to put anything here. We also have our door to our bedroom right here. So like I couldn't put any furniture here or anything so it would block the way to get into the room. And so it's literally just dead space. We used to have like a full length mirror that we had here and that's the only thing that we've ever used it for. However, it's very tiny. As you can see, like I'm a pretty small person and I fill up most of this area. And so what I've done, and like I said, I have some dreams that I'm want to do in the future as well. But I got a cork board here and I have prayer request on this side. And then on this side, I have answered prayer. So I write the date on the back of the cards. And as soon as the prayer is answered, I move it to the answered prayer side. So I've, I haven't been doing this super long. So I don't have a ton of answered prayers yet. Because a lot of the things that I'm praying are longer, just bigger dreams and bigger things that we're praying for that just haven't been answered yet. Um, but I love that I can have a record of seeing my answered prayers over here also. And then on this side, I pasted some Bible verses that I really wanted to have in mind every time I came and prayed. So in the middle, I have Matthew 6, 6 that says, but when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you. And that's kind of the key verse for the whole idea of this prayer corner. So I have that on there and then I have, um, I don't know, six or seven other key verses that just have been really big for me right now that I want to pray through regularly. And then I plan to actually build out up here as well. I've been writing out a lot of my prayers in my quiet time. And so I think it would be cool aesthetically to like paste all of those prayers, like the papers, like in a cool design up on the upper half, because logistically, the upper half of this is not going to be super well utilized for me to use daily as far as like actually praying through things because I would have to stand up and obviously I'm not that tall so I wouldn't even be able to see a lot of them. So I want to use the top half to like kind of just inspire me and look pretty honestly. I think it would be nice to get like a little battery operated sconce, maybe like a wicker sconce or something like that to add some more aesthetically that I could put on the wall um, and add some color too so that when I'm in here at night it can be not some add some color, add some light so that when I'm in here at night I can see a little bit better and then I do want to add a few more categories on the wall of things to pray for and things like that so I have some dreams I have I want to get like a little floor pillow or floor poof or something like that that I could sit on in here and just bring a blanket in I can't keep that stuff over here probably all the time the floor poof I could probably prop up but I couldn't even have like a chair or anything like that because it's just so tiny that it would block the door but I could bring it over and just cozy up and sit in here so this is something I can do a bigger video kind of explaining how I categorize my prayers and different things like that but I wanted to briefly mention this because having a spot that I can go to obviously I pray in my quiet time I pray throughout the day but having a spot like this especially in the moments that I'm really overwhelmed and I just don't know what to do being able to come here I've done this so many times already just in the past like two months where I'm really overwhelmed and stressed and I don't know what to do and I come over here sit on the floor, I read the verses on the wall and I just start praying through them and the Lord just brings so much peace through that and having those reminders tangibly right in front of my face when I'm sitting on the floor and just praying to him is such such a cool thing and it's been so rewarding to experience. Okay, editing me popping in really quick because I realized that I totally forgot to record the clip talking about the app that I have been using. So there is an app called PrayMinder. I would show you on my phone, but my phone is super cracked, so you would not be able to see anything on there anyways. Um, anyway, but the app is called PrayMinder, and you can go and input your prayer requests into this app. And you have a section for current prayers in progress and then there's an answered prayer section and then an archived section. So you can go back and see the answered prayers as they are answered which is really cool to have like a tangible record of it. But also what I think is really cool about it is it reminds you like every couple hours of each request. I think maybe you can customize it in your settings on how often it reminds you but at least my phone reminds me every few hours. So it links up to my Apple Watch so I get a notification on my phone and then also on my Apple Watch and it'll just pop up with a little snippet of the prayer request. You can write it, you know, as long and in-depth as you want or as short as you want. And I feel like it's a, just an awesome way to continue to stay in prayer throughout the day because as you're just doing things throughout the day, you'll get a little notification and you'll see that on there and then you can just pray really quickly over that. And I feel like it just helps you to stay centered in just praying throughout the day, praying over different requests that people have because I don't know about you, but I've definitely been guilty of telling someone that I would pray for them and then totally forgetting to pray for them as for 
frequently as I wanted to throughout the week or whatever and so I feel like this has really helped me especially with my prayer requests for other people because I feel like a lot of times we remember to pray for the specific things that we are you know deeply desiring or needing to pray in our own personal life but then we forget to pray for the others around us so i feel like this specifically helps with that to remind me throughout the day to be praying multiple times a day over the requests that people have asked me to pray for so that app is called pray minder i'll leave that in the description below so that you can go download it it's free um and it's just i feel like a really awesome resource I am going to use this prayer Bible so much and I'm so excited about it and I feel like everyone needs to know about this. So tell your friends about it, share the prayer video, share Sisterita Club's original video, share all of it so that we can get this out into the world into as many people's hands as possible because I really think that this is such a game changer for people's prayer lives and I think everyone needs to have a prayer Bible. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe. I share lots of content around Christian motherhood, intentional, simple living, and daily rhythms and homemaking. And so if you like that kind of thing, I'd love for you to join my little YouTube family that is growing. I love this community. I'm so grateful to have you here. And if you're not new around here, thank you so much for watching another video and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye friends.